Welcome to the Using the HTML Editor demo. In this demo, you will learn how to use the HTML Editor that is found throughout most of the tools in D2L Brightspace. At the end of this demo, you will be able to write, create, add pictures, links, etc. to your D2L Brightspace course using both the basic and advanced modes of the HTML Editor. First, log in to your D2L Brightspace account and go into your course. On the gray course navigation bar, click on the tool you want to use. In this example, we're going to use the content tool. Click on the drop down arrow by any item in which you want to use the HTML editor. Next, click the edit pencil. Find the HTML editor. To activate the editor, click anywhere inside of it. You will notice that the HTML editor very much resembles word processing programs that you may be familiar with such as Microsoft Word. For example, it has a built-in auto spell check that will underline misspelled or unrecognized words with a red wavy line and it has a formatting toolbar across the top. This toolbar includes the insert stuff, insert images, insert quick links, insert symbols, style formatting, bold text, italic text, underline text, indent, list, font style, size, and color, insert equation, insert table, cut, copy, paste, and undo tools. For example, for this assignment, highlight the text and click B for bold. You'll see the text change to bold. Repeat that process to unbold the text. Then continue filling out your information. You can change the size of this box for you to work in by dragging the bottom right corner out and in. In the bottom right area, you'll have the spell check tool along with options to edit the HTML code to preview your work or to make the box full screen. Place your cursor in the HTML box where you'd like to add a picture. Then click on the insert image button. Click upload, then search your computer or simply drag and drop a picture from your computer into the designated box. Click Add. Fill in the alt text and click OK. Click on the picture to edit it. Notice the squares around the picture. Move to the corner of the picture and notice the cursor changes to two arrows. Left click and hold while you move the corner to make the picture smaller. Click anywhere else in the HTML box to stop editing the picture. You can click the Insert Stuff button to insert a video or audio clip. If you had information typed in a Word document, you'd be able to copy and paste it into this HTML box. You can insert an equation with the Sigma key. You can insert a symbol with the Omega key found in the drop down menu next to Quick Links. To change the color of text, highlight it and click on the drop down arrow next to the color swatch. Click on the color and click Save. Notice that your text is red. You can insert two types of hyperlinks. For links inside your course, highlight the word or phrase you'd like the link attached to, or click the place your cursor where you would like the link placed. Click on the Insert Quick Link button. Click Content, then choose the item you would like to link this phrase to. From the same Quick Link list, you will see that you can choose to create a link 
to an outside URL or web page address. Type the website's address in the URL field or copy it from the address bar of your browser and paste it into the URL field. In the title field, type what you want the students to see when reading the information you are presenting. It is best to have the target set to open in a new window. Click Insert. The last feature of the HTML editor is the Edit HTML Source icon. This will allow you to view the content of the HTML editor as you are typing in HTML coding. If you know HTML coding, using this feature will help you spice up your content. When you are finished making changes, remember to click the Save button in the bottom left corner. You have now successfully used the HTML editor. Don't forget to update or save any changes you have made.